Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we have written these two controllers file upload controller and file upload process controller and we, we are using both the, the mechanism like uploading a file to the server folder or just uploading a file and directly processing it and uh, we have created these two routes one is in a simple upload right where we are, have done all these different kind of validation of files now if we just look at the swagger and see how it is working here is an upload and here is the key name is the file name right so let's try a file upload any particular file 35 right we are able to return the the file name that means it is working fine right another is when you want to upload a file to the server right so here i will choose a file something else and here i will upload and we are returning this response that means everything is fine similarly you can also test the multiple upload right so here you see the major difference is here the key name is the file name always remember this here the key name is the image how this is being decided that is in our code here you can see upload file annotation file name that means the key of that binary file using which i am sending it to the http api is the file name okay and here it is the file it is the image you see and i am using the same decorator and same annotations so that my uh, this swagger can expose this particular field and we can test it from the swagger only okay so this is fine now what we do is we get the the file name i mean you can get the buffer also and we are going to play with that right like uh, we can create a file service now so here inside of services i will create uh, upload service upload service.ts and one another service i will create is file.service.ts what we want is we want to actually upload this file to s3 and you already know how to access s3 grammatically i mean sorry programmatically is you will use aws sdk and you need to have access key and secret that you will put in your dot env and if you are using dot env or the config module using both the way you should be able to populate those configs those environment variable in your process.env let's say i'm just using dot env here i have just did dot env dot config right so what you need to do you simply put everything inside your dot env access key secret key and the bucket name for the s3 that's it now if if i write my file service simply uh, first of all upload service and then upload service will talk to the file service right so this is my upload service here we will be writing the same thing okay injectable and all these things i will just put them and then we will proceed further here i have this as upload service and i will be injecting file service inside this because file service is the one who is going to talk to uh, the s3 so let's call this as a file service and we are going to import the injectable and all okay now we got this we can import the file service in the upload service so this is my upload service this is my file service this is not using any other third party service okay what we can do is this upload service will import that files service let's rename this and we will just import this file service here now file service will have the exact methods of uploading and all these things async here we will do is add avatar let's say okay and here you will be passing only the file buffer image buffer image buffer is of type buffer and there is another thing is file name which is of type string we have these two arguments right and what we need to do is 
okay maybe we are going to have a lot of other methods also so i created this file service separately and we are going to have another method upload file and we'll be passing this image buffer as an argument image buffer and a file name and i will just returning it because you will be returning some boolean or something like that the upload file we will introduce in the file service and this is also async and it got two argument if it is async then we have to add await always remember that upload file and it is taking buffer and the file name because we can add the update get delete all these methods so i created a separate two services so we can actually have the isolation of the responsibilities now this is the service which is going to talk to s3 so what we will do is we are going to first get the s3 from sdk s3 from aws sdk okay once we got s3 we can do a lot of things here we can create an instance of s3 from new s3 and we have to initialize our aws sdk somewhere so that we have to see because we have to pass aws sdk access key and secret key right so i mean that is little bit different than what we are doing i will just add this in the domain module here we will do that initialization so we don't need to pass access key and secret key and here config.update before starting the application okay it's we are not bootstrapping here so let's not move it in the main.ts where we are actually bootstrapping the application what we want is our application our aws config is initialized so we will import aws sdk and then what we can do is config.update we are getting config and here we will update the config and this we can just simply get process.env either if you have a config service that is well and good process.env access key id Yes, update of, I mean there are many ways to get the data from the .env file you can write here the nest.js config service you can write your own custom config service or just use a simple .env module now this is fine we just need to get aws sdk module that i will import here npm install minus minus save aws sdk okay so we are good here so this will initialize the uh, the aws environment for us now we can go to our file service we are getting the s3 object and s3 will provide us all these different methods which will help us to upload const upload equal to s3 dot so here we will use await s3 dot there is upload method that we will get once the module is installed and here we have to pass bucket that we can get from process dot env dot bucket name and then body we already have that is the buffer image buffer and then we have the key key is nothing but the file name right so you can actually uh, dynamically create some key by concatting the uuid so we have we can also get the uuid module and let's say i'm putting the file name okay so we also need a uuid which is not there so let's install it I think it's UUID V4. So this is how we are going to upload. And we will be just returning. I mean, this is a callback base, right? So we have to convert it into a promise by just calling a promise method on top of this. And then just return upload. Or you can just return on the same line. Because it is going to return a promise, this is already a sync method, so we can return this either resolved or rejected promise. 
so this will tell us the status about uh, if it is uploaded or not s3 dot upload okay there is a method bucket name uh, let me just see why it is complaining about this uuid we can get once this module is installed and this bucket name the bucket name which put action was initiated blah 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 okay it was just about uh, fixing this payload object okay it should be case should be in the upper case that was the problem and uh, that's it it should not be empty or null so i just put exclamation now it is fine right so this is our upload method and similarly you can also write the delete and all the other methods which we have right i mean we don't need uh, the delete method for now but what you can do is you can just specify the key and you can delete the object from s3 so if you wanted to upload instead of upload if you wanted to do a delete file we just need to have the key or the file id for that okay so you will just provide the the file dot key so here instead of so you will get the s3 dot delete object here delete object not bucket delete object and inside delete object you will pass the bucket so we are passing and the key so here you will just take key as an input and you will just pass that key that's it right so this is how you will be deleting a particular object and we are doing a dot from a so everything looks correct right so upload file delete file and this can be called from your upload service upload service will call this and you will do all these things upload file delete file and these are public methods so just add the specifiers because my service is going to call these methods and some yes linked fixes okay guys so this is how we will do the s3 upload okay from upload service you will call the file service file services has already uh, aws environment already initialized now we are doing the s3 dot upload s3 dot delete object s3 dot put object all these list object all these methods you can call what you just need is the bucket and the key and for upload you just need a bucket image buffer and the file name okay you can customize the file name by putting the uuid in the prefix and all these things uh thanks everyone